Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the next video on the lighter side of RC. Alright guys, so some of you have asked for a follow-up video on the plane hauler or trailer. Um, it's empty. So let's roll that intro and uh, I'll show you guys what we're doing or what we've done so far in the, the trailer. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a work in progress, but let's roll that intro. All right, guys, so we are building a new house. If you are interested in watching it, um, part of it is the shop build as well too, the new airplane shop. There, uh, I'll, I'll link to my other channel down below. But anyway, so we have had been collecting or we've been collecting a bunch of house stuff over the past couple years and it's been sitting in the garage. I moved it into the trailer with intentions of dropping it off at the site and now I needed to move it back into the garage because of the fact that I want to use my trailer. So anyways, here's all the stuff that was in the trailer. Uh, basically, we've got like thousands of pounds of tile and fixtures and that kind of stuff. It wasn't tons of stuff as far as space goes. It's just lots of weight. And that was all in the trailer. So anyways, that's been taken out. The diamond box is right there as well too. So let's take a look at the trailer, how it sits right now. Okay, so with it all empty, I did some mock-ups last night with just putting stuff in. And so this is kind of uh, how we've got things laid out as well too. Now, I know there was lots of discussion over the spare tire and the spare tire ended up back on the wall exactly where it was. So this video is gonna be a bit of a work in progress because I'm going to film this over the next couple weeks with doing things to the trailer. So what I was doing yesterday was just getting things mocked up, getting things kind of laid out how I wanna put things in. Next big thing we're gonna do is put carpet on the shelf here. So today we're gonna to use it the way it is. Um, I think the outdoor carpet for this is gonna be about $75 for the amount that we need. And we'll, uh, we'll cover that all with carpet, which will make it look nice and finished. So basically we've got the ultra flash wing there. Any of my wings that are standard two piece wings go against the wall with the base sitting against a piece of foam on the ground, which I think is gonna work good. We've got uh, the spare tire. So down here, my goal was just to try and get as much weight over the axles as possible. So we've got fuel sitting right here. We've got generator and uh, some of my startup stuff over there. Let's go into the front here and I'll show you what it looks like up front. All right, so this is the front section. So there's the wings right there. So we can still stack more wings like that. But I think this is gonna be a really good way to store these wings because the root of the wing is kind of the most durable part, especially on these diamond wings. We've got the, uh, the tip lights there as well too. But anyways, um, the Milwaukee Packout stuff. So I got this for Christmas, that base, and all my spare parts just click into there, which is really, really nice. So as per the last videos, we've got just our storage in there. I'm just kind of figuring how we're gonna do things and storage in there. Up top right now, we've got some, uh, there's a lawn chair and then um, wing tubes for the diamond. So over the next couple weeks, we will be adding a few things and I will release the video when it's all done. So when you're watching this, everything's done. But carpet here, I wanna figure out a way to mount the fire extinguisher in here. Um, maybe buy a mount for it. Oh, remember this? Joe, my buddy who supplies my 3D printing parts, now it's on the wall. So, um, and then I wanna get things like a towel holder, a paper towel holder, stuff like that. So just minor things, but uh, you guys asked for it, so I figured I would share things with you. I think trailers are always a work in progress, but uh, at least we'll get a nice solid foundation over the next couple weeks of using the trailer and figuring it out. So anyways, guys, thanks for tuning into the channel. Give the video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and uh, we'll continue to have fun with the trailer. All right, guys, last weekend, everything went really, really well with the trailer. This stuff is just in there because I gotta unload it and find somewhere to put it. So anyways, some of the changes we're gonna make today in this section of the video is we're gonna put down the outdoor carpet on the, uh, the shelf here. I went and picked that up today. And then also on Amazon, I got a towel holder for the uh, the front section there. So let's take a look at what that stuff is. 
All right, so towel rack, paper towel rack. I got this one on Amazon. I think it was like $20 Canadian. And of course, free shipping if you're a Prime member. Um, so this is gonna work good. It's all stainless steel. There's no real moving parts. You just open the little uh, flappers and stick the paper towel in there. So hopefully it works out good. And then I also picked up, this is the uh, underside of it, but I also picked up seven feet of the outdoor carpet. So it's just gray, really, really thin, but it'll give that shelf a nice finished look. And the gray will also tie into the gray trim that we've got in there too. Not that we're really concerned about color coordination, but uh, that's what that's for. So I got seven feet because I could have got six and I would have had a six by six piece, but our shelf there is six feet wide. So I want to be able to come down the sides and make, make sure it's trimmed out nicely and everything. So I'm going to, uh, I won't show you the process of installing the carpet, um, but I'll show you, I guess, once it's there. I'm just going to use a stapler and wrap it around and staple it on, and it should work out uh, Should work out fine, I think. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it underneath the 2x4s as nicely as possible. So we'll see what, uh, what I end up doing, but uh, that's the changes we're making today, and I'll show you guys the finished product. All right, folks, so the carpet is all done and everything's reinstalled. So it went in nicely. Um, nothing really crazy to talk about. I was thinking about gluing it down, but I ended up just uh, using my uh, inch and a quarter crown stapler and doing that. So initially what I did was just staple it along the two by fours here, stretched it out, stapled it there, stretched it out, cut the edges. So anyways, it's got a nice finished look to it. I think it looks good. Now I've heard guys talk about that you can take Velcro and stick it to this stuff. Oh yeah. Only problem though is it's, you can see the carpet moving there. So I'd have to put more staples in it, but uh, that's cool. So I'm happy with that. I think it looks a lot better now. And then up front here, installed the toilet or toilet paper installed the towel holder so i went vertical like that just so if i i was thinking if it was horizontal um the toilet or the <laughs> the paper towel would unroll itself by the time we got to where we were going this way there's a little bit more friction and i don't think it'll unroll itself and it's also nicely off to the side so so that is the trailer changes to date all right, so the next things to change or adapt, guys, is gonna be the airplane storage. So when I put the diamond on the top shelf here, I wanna come up with a way that is a little bit better way to keep the aircraft and the, the tray fastened to the platform here. Now, on the previous outing, I just, I just put screws through it. I do have a, a different design where I've got some L brackets that I think I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, work into the system where the whole cradle will just sit down on the L brackets. So I'm just uh, giving that some thought. And uh, so that's kind of the next big thing is going to be uh, in, the, in the near future here when I actually have all three of my jets, my, my primary jets on top of that platform, I wanna have a decent way to store them all. Now the Tudor has a cradle as well too. So we're gonna have to think about how the Tudor is gonna work. The cradle's a little bit more open, so we do have more access to just put screws down. And uh, we can also put some straps across it and stuff too. So there's a couple different ways to think about uh, about doing that. But that's the next big thing that we're going to focus on um, on the next outing. So I'm pretty happy with the layout of everything so far. And uh, on a last outing, I had all my spare parts right there clicked into the pack out uh, floor mount thing. Works awesome. I think I want to get a couple more of those and uh, use some of my bins and mount them somewhere. So just, again, work in progress on the trailer. Uh, you know, just making it work for your situation is, is the most important. We do have a few events coming up in the near future, and that's gonna be when things kind of get modified. And I'll probably be sleeping in the trailer as well too. So that will be interesting and that'll, uh, that'll help push forward some changes and modifications. But happy with the progress so far and uh, still thinking about what we're doing next. All right, guys, so we got the uh, kind of changes modified or changes made here to the aircraft mounting. So what I did was I put two blocks, one on each side right there, and then on the side here, one on each side. 
and then all I'm doing is putting a screw in that one and a screw in this one and it is like super solid, not going anywhere. So I think that's probably the way I'm gonna be doing it. There's none of these angle blocks on the back side because I can slide the plane right out. So initially I was gonna put one on each side, but this just makes more sense, I think, and you just have to undo the screws and then it's finished. So that worked out good. Ultra flash, I think we're gonna leave it the way it is, but just still kind of playing with that. All right, guys, we are doing the final things to the trailer in preparation for this weekend. Hey, look at that. We got a new toy in the background, an Aeroworks 54 Yak. That's cool. And check this lovely jug out that we just got yesterday from Jersey Modeler. And uh, by the way, if, uh, if you're in the market for a jug, check out the lighter side of rc.com. Uh, we are a Jersey Modeler dealer and uh, this just arrived yesterday. We're gonna be using this for smoke fluid. So thanks Dean at Jersey Modeler. There's a, an adjustable or variable rate on there and uh, very, very cool, phenomenal quality jugs. Love Jersey stuff. Been using it for the past 10, 12 years since I got involved in turbine jets and turbine aircraft and aircraft in general. And this stuff is phenomenal. So this is gonna be the first time guys that we've got all of the planes or not all of them, but a majority of the planes loaded in the trailer. So in the first part of this video, you've seen the diamond and the ultra flash installed. Now we are gonna have the diamond, the ultra flash and the Tudor all on the top shelf. And we're probably gonna have the yak here sitting on the floor or the lower area. So we have a bit of that stuff to figure out. I also got more pack out plates here. So we're gonna get those things installed as well too in the trailer uh, so we can use my tote bins that I was talking about. So lots of cool changes in this final segment in the video. So let's dive into our latest round of changes. All right guys, so there is the final setup as of right now for the planes. Now I think I can move my tutor over a little bit if I'm gonna keep the T-tail on, but uh, I don't have the tail on now, so we'll have to see but I just stuck the ultra flash right in between the two like I was planning and we've got the hooks there, the frame there, and we've got the uh, the flash all nicely placed. Uh, the Tudor frame, we actually, I what I did was screw it down to the plywood. So nice thing about the carpet too is it disappears or makes the hole disappear. So I've got one screw back here and then two in the front. Set up down here, we're gonna do the same thing. So I've got one more fuel jug there. I'm gonna put my pack out and generator on this side, and then we can put the yak right in the middle. And you can see over there, I put the pack outs in place. So I put one mount on the wall, one mount on the floor. And the nice thing about the pack outs is I could take that top one and click it into the bottom one if I, want, I don't, don't want anything bouncing out. So it's a little bit uh, modular with that design but I think it'll work out well. So that's the trailer so far, guys. So thanks for tuning in to the, uh, probably the last portion of the trailer build for at least a while. I'm gonna probably rock it like this for the rest of the year, and we will see how things progress and see what kind of changes we wanna make for next year. Um, anyways, that's it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, give the video a thumbs up, and we will see you in the next video.